Okay. Sarah, what are you confident? She's going to smash it, aren't you, babes? Bring it on. Yeah, well, it's very good of Emily to find a slot for you this afternoon. Well, she's not my godmother for nothing. <sighs> morning, all. Oh, morning, morning. I just say, it's very kind of Emily to fit Amy into the concert this afternoon. <gasps> and uh, she got her name in the programme, and it only went to print this morning. Is it at the church or at the church hall? The church hall. Are you all coming? Mm -hmm. Of course we are. I'm going to put Todd in charge of the shop this afternoon. Oh, does he know he's about to become a florist? Uh, not yet, but he's gay, so I can't see a problem. Tracy. So, where were you? Up bed in Grand's spare room. Like sleeping on a snooker table. <laughs> Always quite liked it. You know why he doesn't agree with me? He does. Mm. I need a massage. No, you need a wife. Yeah. You think of anyone? What about that Alia? She's pretty fit, isn't she? Yeah. Glenn. Ah, you see, I quite like that name. Hey, I had such a crush on Glenn. <laughs> so the sad and lonely nights are burning off then. I mean, the divorce and single nights. Hey, now don't knock it. When you get to our age, you're grateful for nights like that. Our age? You see, you know if they're interested and they know if you are. Lovely. It's like internet dating, but a live-action version. And at least they can't hide behind any old photos or text messaging. It's either yes or no, boo. So what's this Ben do for a living, then? He sells trampolines. Oh, yeah. you can't have everything. Morning. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> Rudolph. Rudolph. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen. And Kevin. Yeah, there goes a parent with you. <laughs> well, if that's impressed you, you know, I've got Doc, Happy, Grumpy, Sleepy, Bashful, Sneezer, Doper. And Kevin. <laughs> Have you heard the cheek of this one? I'm five foot seven and a half. Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, then. What about the seven wonders of the world? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> what about Eva? Eva? She'd eat you alive. I could handle Eva. You couldn't handle Eva. Oh, what, but you can. Oh, mate, it's Christmas. Just make it right, will you? Eva. Oh, dude. Um, I was wondering if I could have a quick word. With me? Uh, yeah, if you've got five minutes. Certainly, certainly, yeah. Oh, by the way, thank you for breakfast this morning. That really set me up for the day. Well, probably for the week. Well, maybe I was buttering you up. Mm -hmm. How so? <clears throat> um, me and Tracy, we've, uh... Well, we've been back together a while now. Uh, it's almost six months, in fact. I could tell you the exact day, of course. <sighs> I didn't get off to the best of starts, I'll grant you that. Yeah, I could have throttled her. You would have been completely within your rights. But we've... we've gotten better since then, haven't we? I like to think we get on well. Yeah, we do. We do. In fact, I, uh I couldn't wish for a better father-in-law. Father-in-law? Call me old-fashioned, but... I've come to ask you for Tracy's hand in marriage. I love her, Ken, for all their faults. And she has a share of those. But you have a very, um, tempestuous relationship, if you don't mind me saying so. Well, is there any other kind? <laughs> and there's been some talk of Rob these last few days. Uh, what can I say? I'm, I'm jealous and possessive. And honest, too. We might scream and shout at each other, but you know, we always make friends afterwards. Deirdre and I were the same. It's so... What do you think? Have I got your blessing? Well, I want Tracy to be happy, and if you make her happy, then I'm all for it. I, I sense a but. Amy could do with a bit of stability in her life. I think she likes me, unless you've heard different. Don't commit to them unless you mean it. I won't. And I do. Then you have my blessing. Thank you.
Hiya. Hiya. Hungry? I hope they're not all for you. I'm treating the lads. See, you're still persevering with the antlers. Go, aren't you? Market, two ninety nine. dollars Got Luke and Tyrone a pair. You're spoiling him. <laughs> well, you know, it's Christmas, trying to keep the spirits up. Hope's gone back into hospital. Oh. Well, I'm sure he appreciates it. You off it at the town? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get some tights. It's for my date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When and where? Um, the bistro. Eight bells. Me too. Oh. Glenn. He sells trampolines. Ooh. Joanne. Seems OK. Chatty. Probably see you there, then. Hey, we should have a signal for if it's going badly. If I blink twice, you bail me out. <laughs> oh, will do. See you later. <laughs> see you. Listen, I'm not giving you a penny until I'm 100% sure she's my daughter. <laughs> you know that she is, though, don't you? You can sense it. The only thing I sense is that you're right where you belong. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you the other day. I think she's got your nose. She's got her own nose. Have you seen my highlighter pens? What? Uh, excuse me. What? Have you seen my highlighter pens? What highlighter pens? The ones I used to mark down the delivery chart. I didn't know you used highlighter pens to mark off your delivery chart. Can we get back to me, please? Hang on. Who are you talking to? Uh, trying to book an appointment. Who are you with? Physio. For what? I slept funny. I saw that the fella from the hairdressers bumped into him this morning. He looked like Richard III. Johnny. Yes. I want my money. So have you seen my highlighters or not? Would you stop interrupting me when I'm on the phone? I could tell you that when you were little. Mm. Oh, I mean, I'll just go later. Who? Oh? I'll just go. Oh, Driscoll, oh, Driscoll. How many old Driscolls are we dealing with? I'll let you know how it goes. One thing I do know about him, though, he likes ping pong. Just hang on. What do you mean I'm about to become a florist? Since when? Uh, since I decided. Or Robert and I decided to turn this place into a flower shop. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Look, I've had enough of selling tat all day long, dealing with crooks and poor people. I'm going back to my roots. Well, starting when? Starting now. Look, I can train you up. I'm qualified, don't you know? What if I don't want to become a florist, Tracy? Oh, well, nobody's holding a gun to your head. Right, I'm going into town. What, what for? Well, you might not have noticed, Todd. There's only four days left till Christmas. I, uh, I said we could uh, take Emily. We can go in two cars. Super, yeah. Hello, Emily. Hello. I, I hope it isn't any bother. Not at all. We're all very excited, aren't we, Amy? Yeah. Amy Barlow's professional debut. Hey, your mum's going to be so proud. Well, I'm not so sure about the professional exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. As soon as she gets here, we'll be off. Cheers. Rob. Yeah, I'm on the way. Off the market. <laughs> you were rubbed. Hey, mine aren't working. Yeah, come here, there's a switch. There you go. Am I on? You're on. Hey, I need flashing. Oh, <laughs> flash <it. laughs> uh, these Christmas carols are driving me mad. Oh, come on, who doesn't love a good Christmas carol? Yeah, I don't mind a Christmas carol, but not on loop. It's the fourth time this morning I've heard, oh, come all ye faithful. Feel like I'm stuck in a lift. Ah, here we go then. Favourite Christmas carol. Have the herald angels sing without question. What? More than silent night. No, I like silent night, but I prefer half the herald angels sing. How can you prefer half the herald angels sing to silent night? What do you mean now, can I? I just can. Right. Luke? A little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> no, nothing, mate. You crack on. <laughs> oh, little town of Bethlehem. No. Hey, hey, I don't see what's so funny. It's a perfectly good Christmas carol. If you're a five-year-old little girl. Oh, Mrs. Nazir, you got a favourite Christmas carol? Um, in the bleak midwinter, 
Wow, oh. that's great. <laughs> I love the words, earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. This is old little town of Bethlehem. Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> How I wish I could stay and chat. Right, enough race nonsense, lads. We've got Vauxhall there with our name on it. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Seems to be round here a lot. Do you think? No. Come on, any excuse to pop in. But he pops in this afternoon and all sounding all innocent. Where's the round? Will you shut up? <coughs> I'm telling you, he fancies the pants off you. He can fancy him all he likes to stop him right where they are. <laughs> anyway, how come you're not going to Amy's thing? Oh, well, somebody needs to man the bar. Oh, we could get Sarah in. No, no. Yes, no need to bother. You don't want to go, do you? Of course I do. In an ideal world. <laughs> I resent that. She's my granddaughter and I always support her. Yeah, no, I saw you at the last one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, it's Steve. Hola. OK, then. So, what time do you land? Is he still on for Christmas Eve? All right, darling. Well, uh, say good luck to Andy from me, will you? And wish him good luck from me as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, well, be good. Adios. Oh, he, he didn't say good luck from me. Yeah, cos he could eat you. Are they still on track? Yeah, gets back Christmas Eve. He's sorry to be missing the grand opening line, but still. Oh, well, Andy can manage without him. Mm. I still wish that you'd said good luck from me. I'm a bit superstitious about stuff like that. This around. Who the devil is she? Still not answering. I hope she's all right. I've got butterflies. She'll have forgotten. Of course she hasn't forgotten. She'll be here. All the same, I, I'm rather concerned about the time. I mean, it is important that we get there before it starts and the Oak Hill Junior Brass Band get us underway at four. What kind of a crowd do you get? Oh, musical afternoons are very well attended. 150, 200, perhaps. Blimey. Tracy, it's me. We're setting off in two minutes. I repeat, two minutes. This is your two-minute warning. <laughs> <laughs> Mulled wine? Yes, well, it's that time of year. I'm supposed to be working. So am I. I was going to tell. Hey, you don't mind me dropping all this on you, do you? I just don't know who else I can talk to. Have you considered just sitting them all down and telling the truth? <laughs> what if I did that and the DNA didn't match? Well, at least you'd have a clear conscience. <sighs> You know, I could have grabbed hold of Rob and wrung his neck. Oh, I know. As if murdering my barmaid wasn't enough. Hey, you know this concert of your Amy's? Why don't you get Sean in to cover for you? I could sort it out from our end. No, no, there's no need to go to any bother. Look, nerves are healthy. If we didn't get nervous, we wouldn't be able to perform. Yeah, Robert's right. The body releases adrenaline and helps to combat the fear. I just want Mum to be there. She'll be there. So, have you attended many of these events, Emily? More than I'd care to remember. I'm usually in charge of the collecting box, but I'm leaving it to Annie this year. She's pushier than I am. But, I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it seems to get results. If she's not there, I'll mess it up. Of course she won't mess it up. You'll be brilliant. Grandad, I don't want to do it. Check the shop again. Siron Dobbs? Yeah, two dozen Christmas trees. Sign your life away. Will do. Where do you want them? <laughs> Good question. Don't eat them all at once. Uh-huh. She said I was about to become a florist. Then she left. What time was that? I mean, I don't even know what I'm selling here. Flowers or digital radios. What is she going to town for? I mean, I know what a rose is, a tulip, but that's about it. I should be grateful you still got a job. Uh, I was about to become a solicitor. Now look at me. Can't be easy. This time of year. Christmas decorations in prison only make things worse. Are you warm enough if they crank the heating up? Well, I'll get cold in the middle of the night. My blanket itches. 
bet you wish you'd got somebody to cuddle up to. Do you know, I used to wear two pairs of socks. So how's your dad bearing up? Oh, well, he's got another woman on the go, if you can believe it. But knowing your old man, I definitely can. Nessa, she's called. She's practically moved in. She used Mum's lady shave to do her legs the other day. So what else is going on? Nothing. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to be doing the Christmas dinner this year. Really? I think I'm better off in here. <laughs> what? I still can't find them. My highlighter pen. Oh, still with the highlighter pen. Well, I haven't finished my chart. You know, I'll put all the deliveries into a spreadsheet and then I'll colour in the boxes with my pens. Do you want me to bring you some Play-Doh and some toy soldiers? Ah, it's my system and it works. You know, I left them in this drawer next to my pencil sharpener and my ruler. What do you need a pencil sharpener for? Well, if I'm working out sums, I use a pencil. Oh, give me strength. Oh, no. Do you want one? Well, I just finished a load of packing. Thought I'd have a mooch. Oh, did you know? Well, you can't just mooch into here any time you like. Oh, I thought I'd speak to my brother, actually. Well, speak and be gone. Have you seen my highlighter pens? What do you think's up with, Dad? What, today or in general? No, oh, I left the top off the milk this morning and he nearly took my head off. I used to hate it when you did that. <laughs> Okay, is that all? Sorry. Yo. Hey. So she can just wander in off the streets, but I can't come in and catch up with my brother. Oh, bad time. No perfect time, so what's doing? Hmm. Well, I wanted to speak to you both, actually. I've just been to a photo shoot for Bridal Magazine, and I've got a few dresses in the boot of my car. Don't have to be back till tomorrow. Oh, so. bravo, Michelle. Mm. Your place or mine? <laughs> <laughs> How often should you buy a new toothbrush? I don't know, Fizz buys them. How about you, Kev? No, no, won't listen in. How often should you buy a new toothbrush? Well, no, Sally used to get all that from me. Well, you've not had a new toothbrush since Sally. <laughs> well, of course I have. Nah, you haven't. I haven't got a Spider-Man one at the minute. <laughs> you use a children's toothbrush? Oh, it's electric. Jack picked it for me. Yours is a nightmare, by the way. Yeah, I know. Is this like a toilet brush? When them bristles start poking out, that's when you should buy a new one. Lid brushes his teeth with a toilet brush. What's well, thinking, you know, old little town of uh, bed? You two are picking on me. Gonna go to HR. Where's stuff when you need her, eh? Maybe you should buy you one as a present. Imagine getting that as a present. A toothbrush would be well devil. Or well, maybe I should buy myself a Spider-Man one. Yeah, it does his job, doesn't it? No, hang on, lads, it's fizz. I love. What, not again? Right, OK, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get there as quick as I can, yeah. Right, bye. Oak's picked up another infection, they're transferring it at general. What, during treatment? Happy Christmas, eh? Look, I'll uh, drop you off. You know what parking's like there. When's it going to end, Kev? I don't know. I'll uh, just get the keys, take the overalls off. Oh, you managed to find something to work? Yeah, eventually. It was already in the sale. I think Mike can see if Audrey can do something with my hair, though. Sounds exhausting, the dating game. Yeah, well, let's hope it's worth it. Actually, I'm quite nervous. And skin. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. I haven't even done the food shopping yet. And what's your plans for Christmas dinner? Just at home. I'm dropping Jake round at yours in time for the nose bag, according to Gary. Did Gary not invite you? Why should he? Because it's Christmas. Well, why don't you come and eat with us, eh? Save you the bother of all that faff. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, well... That is, if you want to. Well, it certainly beats sitting at home on my own, as long as Gary will not mind. No, Jake will love it, and we can play charades. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Oh, don't be daft. You know I love you. Right, wish me luck. <gasps> Good luck. <laughs> See you. See ya. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, I wish I had a pound for every time I've had one of these on. Or every time you've had one of these off. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't meet that last time, did I? I should have known it was doomed. Why? Well, what happened? Oh, I conked out, splattered. Oh, on your wedding night? Yeah. While well, my husband copped off with somebody half his age. She's joking, isn't she? No. <laughs> what way to start? I know. It was downhill from then, really. Oh, yeah, I need to get back to the factory. I'm expecting a delivery. At this time? Yeah, delivery of what? Oh, you'll see. Oh, uh, oh. sorry. That's all right. We're all decent. Take a look at your daughter. Well? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, what about me? Yeah. <laughs> look like they could be sisters, don't they? <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Listen, I'll leave you lot to it. I've just got to see a man about a frog. Eh? A dog. Got to see a man about a dog. 
There's something seriously wrong with him. Yes. Oh, flipping heck, it's Steve again. It's like a child, you can't leave me alone. But it's about the dog. Have you fed her? Have you watched? Have you tickled her flipping belly? Hola! What? 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 Right, well, come on, then. You obviously asked me here for a reason. The, um... The lead officer in my case... She's been implicated in some corruption or unethical behaviour. What, what kind of unethical behaviour? I don't know all the details. Miss Solicitor blinded me with science, but she's been leaking information, fabricating evidence and, and all sorts. Right, but you confessed. Yeah, I, I know I did, but but it doesn't matter. See, she's facing some kind of disciplinary. Me and her, we, we could be swapping places. Miss Solicitor's quite confident. You are kidding but me. I could be getting out, Trace. And what I need to know is, if I do, is there any chance that we can start again? Coronation Street's back in half an hour.